everyone welcome to our channel coffee with coach today we have brought a very exciting video for you and that is on amcat versus e litmus after our previous video we, we got a lot of comments on which one is better amcat or e litmus or which one we should go for so here we are with a fresh video on amcat versus e litmus in this video we'll discuss every aspect of both the examination we'll discuss different parameters different structures of the examination whether it's your syllabus whether it's a fee structure, Structure, whether it's a scope so be connected with coffee with codes and watch the video till end because this gonna help you a lot if you are an engineer graduate so let's move forward what is an AMCAT examination it is one of the largest employability tests taken by lot of job seekers every year it helps a student to examine the skills and get recognized by industries to find career opportunity. This kind of examination is especially very beneficial to all those people who are not a part of tier 1 colleges or a very good campusing comes into their college. So, if you are in one such category or even if a good company is coming but coming with a less package then you can offer for this kind of examination whether it's an AMCAT or ELITMUS. AMCAT is an adaptive test. What do you mean by an adaptive test? It means that the order of question is not fixed. It's, it depends on whether you answer the uh, current question correctly or not. Say for example if you answer this question correctly then the next question will be a bit tougher than the current one. So this is all about AMCAT in a brief. So now let us see about eLitmus. eLitmus is one of the biggest online hiring platform and a national level assessment for all those people who are looking out for entry level engineering job. This eLitmus conduct the eLitmus PH test whose scorecard is very useful as the companies use it to shortlist students for interview in off-campus and on-campus placement. You can also use the scorecard to apply in other companies from across India for a period of two years. This was the brief description of AMCAD and eLitmus. Now, there is one very important point to note. AMCAT is an adaptive test but eLitmus is not an adaptive test. So as I discussed the adaptive test is something in which the next question changes according to the answer of the previous one. So here is a big difference between an AMCAT and eLitmus that AMCAT is an adaptive test and eLitmus is a written test. So moving further we will see the different aspect of AMCAT and eLitmus. A very important point that should come in your mind before giving any examination is the scorecard validity. AMCAT has a scorecard validity of three years, but whereas eLitmus has a scorecard validity of only two years. So this is also a very big difference. With the AMCAT score, you can search for a job for three years. You can sit in their placement for three years. But whereas for eLitmus, you can only sit for two years. So this is a very big parameter that differentiate AMCAT and eLitmus. Next come the salary. Here salary means what is an average salary that you can get from AMCAN and the average salary that you can get from eLitmus. In eLitmus, most of the companies offer a very good range of salary. But at the same time, to get the salary, you have to really score a good percentile. Most of the companies here will provide good job profiles, especially in the field of software developer. Whereas in AppCat, there has been a lot of companies which offer very low salary. They also have companies which provide good job profile with good salary, but it totally depends on the hiring company to call the candidate. So most of the time they prefer 
only premium institute students so here come a very big difference guys in a salary package it has been observed that e litmus has high salary package which may range from 2.4 to 20 lakh but at the same time amcat has a very low salary package from near about 1.2 to 8 to 10 lakhs that is a maximum that they can give but the major of the job that comes through amcat you will have a salary package from 1.2 lakh per annum to 3.4 lakh per annum so there comes a very big difference in the salary between an amcat and an e litmus moving on to the fees how much you have to pay to give an amcat examination or how much you have to pay to give a e litmus examination e litmus charges about rupees 920 per test whereas amcat has a fee structure of 843 per test so this is what you have to pay the cost difference is not much between an amcat and an e litmus so the e litmus is near to about 900 to 950 that you are paying and amcat is about 800 to 850 it will be a mere difference of 100 rupees or so but the major difference comes in the difficulty level guys let me tell you amcat is very easy to crack where e litmus is sometimes compared with cat examination yes cat examination e litmus is quite difficult to crack and a good percentile in e litmus is really difficult to obtain it is reality that 80% of the candidate give e litmus test to just get the call from accenture there has been record breaking selection in accenture through e litmus but you should not forget no matter why the difficulty of e litmus is hard to get into but at the same time e litmus will offer you a very lucrative career option as there are many product based companies which recruit through e litmus if you go through amcad there will be more of service based companies over here so looking that into matter if i was to give an examination of course i would have chosen something which will offer me a better career option in some product based company than in service based company to see the branch eligibility so it's a very good news for all of you there anyone any branch can give all the examination whether it's amcat whether it's e litmus you are eligible for both the examination but at the same time you should keep in mind whether it's amcat or whether it's e litmus e litmus especially will have more software companies offering you a job but in amcat there are few core branch companies as well so if you want specially in a core branch then you can of course go for amcat as amcat offers more of core branch option than e litmus but if you want some higher uh, salary package or a better option in software there is no doubt that e litmus is a market leader in that section Now let's see the exam pattern of e litmus and amcat in e litmus you have to score only for three papers your reasoning section english and maths whereas in amcat you will have to give reasoning english maths and a technical paper this will be an optional you can choose according to your core branch whether if you want to in software you can choose for software so this completely depends on you uh, your choice so here i have told you about both the exam pattern whether it's amcat or e litmus only the it is same but only the difference will be that in amcat you have to give an extra paper of the technical but at the same time amcat is far 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 more easy than your e litmus examination let us quickly see the marks distribution of amcat 
so in english as i told english comprehensive you will have 900 marks in quants you have 900 marks in logical you will have 900 and as i told any technical or an, that is also an optional module you will have 900 marks in total it will sum up to 3600 marks Whereas in e litmus you will have a quantitative aptitude section where you have to give 20 question and the score allotted for the 20 question is 200. Second of all verbal ability is there 20 questions again 200 analytical reasoning is there 20 question 200. In total it will sum up to 60 question 600 marks and the duration to solve this question will be 2 hours. The most important part that you should know that companies which recruit through AMCAT, there are some market leaders in this like Cognizant, Accenture, ITC, Infotech, Godridge, Ericsson, Deloitte, Titan, SBI, LNT, Emphasis, Mindtree, Mu Sigma, Honeywell, Genpak, Arisen, HCL Technology, Microsoft, Sapient, and Coca Cola. These are the companies which recruit through AMCAT and the companies that are recruiting through Elitmus is like Dell, Ericsson, HCS, HP, Accenture, Harman International Private Limited, ITC, Infotech, Ecanos, Communication India Private Limited, Innovation Technology, LNT, Microsoft India Private Limited, Motorola, India Electronics Private Limited, Cisco, Geeky and Cybrilla, Elitmus Evaluation and IETC Infotex. There are many more companies. I have only included those companies which may excite you or which name you have commonly heard. So before I wrap up the video, let me tell you a very important point. Let me wrap up this for you so that it becomes easy for you to understand which examination to go for, which examination is easy, which examination most importantly will be a right choice for your so the first important points is the AMCAT is much easier than e litmus when you compare the type of question being asked in the test second point is e litmus and AMCAT both require good percentage academics the minimum criteria will always be 60% or 65% but if you have more than 70% you are safe to apply any job third point to note is AMCAT mainly focus on the overall skills like aptitude logical uh, English, computer programming and personality whereas e litmus focus only on three sections aptitude logical and English e litmus will have a very good package e litmus is a high salary package ranging from 2.4 to 20 lakh whereas AMCAD offers mainly to the student a very low salary package to like 1.2 to 3.4 in average but there are companies which of course offer a more like 8 to 10 lakhs but at the same time they only recruit more of a premium institute students and it is very hard to get a call from those companies. Elitmus conduct interview drives mostly from Bangalore the other major cities attire is from Hyderabad, Chennai, Pune and Delhi but AMCAT hires fresher graduates from all part of the countries. The major cities include Bangalore, Hyderabad, Noida, Gurgaon, Chennai, Pune and Kolkata. But what my suggestion is, if you want to get a good job, then why not take both the test and increase your chance of getting job in leading IT companies. Moreover, if you prepare for a tougher examination, tougher test like an e litmus, of course you can crack AMCAT easily. So with this, Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you liked the video. If you have liked, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Join us on WhatsApp. There will be a form. You have to just fill the form and you will get a link. Please join us on WhatsApp. We would love to hear what you felt about this video. Anything you want us to make another video, then do mention it in our comments. Thank you for watching this video. All the very best for your career. Bye-bye.